Hey guys and welcome back to Juno New Origins. My name is Twitchy and we are playing a full automation playthrough in this wonderful uh, laser rocket game even though we've got a car in front of us right here. We're bringing our vehicles to life through the magic of the Vizzy programming or shall we say scripting language that comes built in with the game. This is what it took for us to make our way all the way through town and follow a target last time and this time we've got some new objectives that we want to try and meet here. The one that I'm particularly interested in straight away is the Juno Peak. The peak right next to our village has some of the best views I've ever seen. Can you go up there and enjoy the views and take a couple of photos? If your craft is sliding too much, make sure to increase its torque by maxing out the gear ratio. I know what that's talking about, so let's get on with that and do that. I'm going to accept this, thank you very much. And I think before we do anything, I'm going to use this car uh, and I'm... <sighs> I'm going to save this 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 uh, program here so that we can use it for other things. Uh, drive to target. No, it's not. This is not drive to target. This is drive through town. Okay, we stripped that program down to its very, very essence here. We start at the on-start um, block at the top here. We do a little countdown to make sure that I, the player, am ready. Uh, we then start the telemetry. Where, where, where's the telemetry? Ah, look at that. I, we want to get rid of that target number. That's that's not part of this anymore. We don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Okay, beautiful. Uh, so, we, we start, we count down, we... Start this telemetry run. We'll talk through that in a second. We wait one second and then we do the target seeking. Of course, the target seeking takes advantage of this mathematical construct that I talked about last time. It's called the dot product. If you're pointed towards the target, it gives you a one. If you're pointed at right angles to it, it gives you a zero. And if you're pointed backwards, it gives you a minus one. Very handy, as I'm sure you can imagine. And that simple program is what we're going to launch with here, just to see what it is we even need to do. I always feel like just a little bit of a recon and exploration mission at the very beginning uh, is always worth it. Remember to bring at least one. I forgot to bring the camera. Wait, let's go back and do it again. <laughs> If I was a camera, where would I live in this system? It wouldn't be the engines, it wouldn't be the plane stuff. Uh, it, it's in the electronics, of course it is. Why would it not be? So we drag that out, we put that on the very front, and now we just we can see where we're going, and that's that's the important thing, right? Okay, let's let's try this again. There is no logic for taking any photos, even though that is part of what we need to do. A 600 meter drive. Let's see. Okay, up over there. I do not believe my vehicle is going to be able to climb this at this point in time. Time, though we will see. Let's get the little uh, readout of the the telemetry on the side here. Let's see what we can do. I know that there is definitely an upper limit and we've just reached it, but this looks relatively simple. I feel like we can do this mission without too... Yeah, we just, we just need to work on the gear ratio. Maybe if we go too steep, turn left and right or something like that. Uh, I mean, it, it's going to try anyway. I, I wonder whether we could just leave it trying and it Oh, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> and it will then find a, a spot. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Okay, let's let's go and ooh, shorten down that nose for starters. But then play with the gear ratios. Okay, I've, I've snubbed the nose down a little bit here. And something about gear ratios. Unfortunately, all of these wheels seem to be separate wheels. I, I don't I don't know why. They, they shouldn't be. Uh, so we got as much torque as we can. And the gear ratio, if I hover over the gear ratio, higher values result in more torque with the wheel, but lower uh, RPM. So this actually... Hmm. Should be enough to get us up there. And, and it can't. Okay. Oh, we could have, we could have chunky wheels. I don't I don't know whether the wheel chunk is gonna gonna have uh, make any difference. The wheel settings down here, mm, tractions. I mean, traction is good, but it's not what we want. So we've only got one major difference to this program here, and that involves the tracking statement that we've got. We've taken that and we've wrapped it in a huge if statement that's basically just trying to f uh, compare our pitch number here. If it goes above ten, which it turns out that happens rather quickly, uh, then it will slow down. Down, then put on the brakes, turn, and then start looking. I really wanted us to start going over that way instead, but it turns out that that has not been what has happened. My yaw is really going for it. Okay, this this is interesting. Not what I expected to happen. I expected to run up the hill, stop, roll backwards. The fact that we're already above... To, maybe we need to change that to 20 degrees. Uh, roll backwards a little bit and uh, then then find a new way to go up. The, the way that we're looking right now 
is interesting. Let's let I'm I'm willing to to play this one out. Let let's see what happens. Oh, no, that is that's still not enough. Maybe the fact that we've got a solid rocket on the back is not helping here, and we're actually quite heavy. Do you, do you think we should? Yeah, that's a, that's a holdover from an from an old thing. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice to have the ability to just fire this up at some point. It's a battery. Okay, of course, because it's actually keeping me running. Can we, we can indeed. Let's just turn this down to like 20% battery and let, let's see if that's good. We, we do have a solid motor on the back here, but it's got its own fuel tank. That That's that's not the problem. Uh, and I like having that because it's a great way to end a mission. <laughs> we could we could recover craft, but uh, wouldn't, wouldn't we rather just fire it out? Uh, okay, active. We are moving towards, because our, let's have a look, the, the vector, the, the dot product, sorry, here to the target is, is, is very close to one, but it is less than 0.999, so... <laughs> It will do its steering, but then when we get over 10 degrees, it will do another. Are we, are we going to end up in the same situation here? I think so. I think so. Turns out I don't have quite what it takes. Is that further up the hill? That's the question. Is it further up the hill? What we want to do, of course, is try and find our way onto a, a less steep section, something like here. I was thinking maybe we could go up this way, though looking around, I don't, I don't know whether we'll make it up that hill. Uh, I, I don't know what the limitations here are exactly, but it's definitely, uh, I've, I've chose far too small a pitch number. Uh, I say that for, for free. Okay, tweaked a few values. Let's see how we do here. I also found out that the back wheels were unpowered. So let's see if we can uh, keep the... Like, I've put more power in. Let's see if that does what we need it to here. I'm not sure whether we can actually make it up at all. In fact, let's look at the, the log files. Uh, without going above 25 degrees. That was like 30 degrees, something like that. So, okay. So n now that we've stopped, turned... Why My throttle is on, but we're not going anywhere. That is unfortunate i was supposed to slow to a stop so my throttle could take us here mm, okay that's that's interesting we definitely got some some grip issues right i i feel like the grip on our wheels is is a problem and i'm not entirely sure how to correct it hmm yeah we're just we're just not gripping for some reason Look at that. The the wheels are spinning. Look at them go. They are they are definitely turning. But we're just not going up there. Let me show you the difference a big wheel makes. I've uh, expanded these wheels out in the hope that the extra traction will give us a little bit more grip when we hit the slopes and we're able to make our way up uh, just more efficiently than we were with the smaller wheels. Unfortunately, it turns out this is entirely not true. Uh, I, look, look, we're just we're just slowing down to a complete stop. We're doing worse than we were doing with thin wheels. I really, I really wanted to show you that. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. Bring my wheel width all the way down to 65. And now we've completely the same settings. And I really, like, I've not changed anything other than the, the wheel width. Look at us go. This is crazy. It's also a good time to talk about the uh, what I've done to the the program. Instead of uh, getting too steep and then just stopping and letting myself roll back, all I do is turn in a leftwards direction uh, until we're not going as steep anymore. And we keep driving that way. And then this will just keep me on the very edge of what my craft can handle. I picked 35 degrees as a random number and it worked out really well especially with these super super thin wheels that we've got going here uh, now the the next question is of course what happens when we actually hit the peak i i don't know whether i need to do anything to activate the camera i've not been able to find any way of doing so in the code i mean that's not quite true i have found something that will activate the camera whether that counts or not i don't know but we've only got to get to the top of the peak at the moment we're a only a hundred meters or so away this is this has gone incredibly well like so much better than i thought it would let's uh, zoom out here and get a little bit of a look do i need to do anything other than just stay at the top here boom complete the contract we did it nice what's it doing now it's spinning around in circles i don't think it knows what it's doing where am i going Wait, I, I, I feel like we need to, uh, to, to, to figure this out. Also, uh, completed the highest climb by exceeding three kilometers. That's good. Where is this craft going? I, I don't know, but it still wants to go. I, I might even just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Where, where are you? Are we, are we the right way up? We are the right way up. I don't know. Why? If, what even direction are we pointing at the moment? Uh, north, no, east. We're pointing east as pretty much as strong as we can. I wonder. 
I wonder why East. No, we're, we're turning. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it. Uh, I don't think it's actually going in any specific direction. I think we've just got our wheels uh, pointed forwards. It's, it seems to be doing something. We are definitely steering. Um, distance to target. Where, where, where's the target? Look, we are... We're going somewhere, and it's a long way away. I don't know where the target is. Yeah, this is really cool. This is... I mean, I... We'll experiment with this design in the future. Just having a craft with two two wheels and dragging a thing along the back. I, th I think that might work. I, where was the highest peak? That was the highest peak we had. I, want, I wonder if we can find another one at some point. This is, this is just going to keep going, though. This is just going to keep going. Oh, we flipped over. Now we're going backwards. Okay. <laughs> and it saved itself somehow. And we're still going in this direction. We're not turning heavy or hard. I, I have no idea. Maybe it's to do with the pitch. Maybe because we've gone over 35 degrees. That that might still be in, in effect. Okay, after a little bit of a jaunt in the mountains, I feel like I know how this is going to... Oh, I thought I knew how this was going to finish. But no, we're, go we're going off... So I thought we were going to crash into the side of that. Okay, crazy. I I'm really enjoying this, though. <laughs> ah, we, we've rolled to a pretty unceremonial stop. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Thank you very much. We'll recover the craft. Look, we got money back for it. Beautiful. Okay, that went so well. I think we're going to, like, expand our reach into a different domain. Uh, this one, shockingly fast. The Wright brothers were the first to fly at a whopping three meters per second. You can do better, can't you? I honestly don't know. We've got to stay under 15 kilometers. We fly horizontal. We get to Mach 0 0.125. We should be able to do that. I don't know what the actual speed is for that, but we should be able to do that. Hold your speed for a kilometer. Must be completed within 60. Ah, I don't mind about how long we've got to do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, the very first thing we need to do is build an aircraft that can fly under manual control, and then maybe we'll see if we can let the robots at it. And whilst I work on that marvel of engineering, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the sponsors of all of these flights. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation in appreciation for all that we do here. Most of these people have been with me for a very, very long time and I, I appreciate it so much. I literally cannot put it into words, but I'm going to try with a thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, as always, we start off nice and simple. We start at telemetry so we can see our heading pitch and surface velocity. Uh, and then we activate, set our throttle to one, and look look down the runway. That that should be fine, right? I see no reason why that wouldn't work. I mean, I do. We could be off of axis. It could be that we need to use the yaw system over here. There's a, there's a whole bunch of reasons why this might not work. We appear to be uh, trying to pitch up right now or pitch down. I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look and see what this is doing. Maybe we should have set our pitch to a bit of a more reasonable number, uh, but we also need to set our <laughs> we we also need to set our heading to a more reasonable number as well. Is this something that I can just figure out here? Uh, so fifty was too far right. Okay, let let's try forty eight. Okay, we're trying to hold a pitch of a forty. Uh, sorry, of twenty as well. The moment we start, yeah, that that's the angle we're trying to look at here, and we're we're almost there. To be honest, uh, I feel like we're still drifting quite a bit. Maybe, maybe I do need to mess with the yaw. I'm like the pitch really did want to work, but it looks like the yaw is not. It's not going to do it, is it? Okay, we've just thrown this on the end. If we're looking one way, steer the other. If we're looking the other, steer the other. That that should be fine. Uh, it, have I got the right numbers? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. I did try and play it through in my head to figure out, but we'll see here. We are looking at about 50 degrees right now, so that should be fine. The number's getting bigger. I don't like the fact that the number's getting... No, it's getting smaller. Okay, it's good. I've, I did the right thing here. That's fine. That's fine. Now, let's see if we can pick up enough speed that we actually managed to take off. Let's get rid of that as well. That's, that's not needed anymore, surely. And it's a nice, smooth takeoff, 20-degree climb. We seem to have a bit of a roll issue here. Okay, I don't know if we can deal with that. I'd really like... Oh, actually, have we have we entered some sort of easy level? For, I, I've got to, I've got to figure out the roll. The, the roll is a problem here. We're halfway through what we need to be doing, though. Okay, this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And just like that, bam, we, we have done it shockingly fast. I mean, it's not... But it works. I really wish I'd given it some sort of like turn around and and land. Now instead, we're just gonna see where we go. I don't know how much 
electricity we have in this thing. I mean, battery's still 99%. This this could take a while. This could take a while. Let, let's, let's just let that run, shall we? No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I can't subject the video to any more just flying. I thought we were gonna hit a mountain, but it looks like actually we're leaving the mountain range. And at that point, I think I'd want other things, uh, other craft to be doing stuff. Uh, we're just gonna destroy it. It's gonna gonna cost me two grand to to recover it from that point. What I should have done is cut my engines, fired a parachute, hit the floor, and recovered there. After the horrors of driving through town, trying to hold my bank angle is a trivial affair. So we just checked to see whether the absolute value of the bank angle is uh, above zero. Uh, I wanted a small number, but th this will do. Uh, if it is, it turns out I had to set it to the negative small nut version of the bank angle. If I set it to just one, uh, if I set it just to the bank angle, we would turn very hard in the wrong direction. Uh, so if I did negative one, we'd turn very hard in the right direction, but very hard ended up off slating all over the place so I gave it a 0 0.1 and it held in place something else that I've managed to find though something that's possibly more interesting if we come over to this uh, craft information and we see like planet drew is the planet that we're on and we've got this whole bunch of information that it will give us and the one that I have found is this structures list so I attach that to the telemetry where it, here's, here's the full list of all the structures on this planet. Some of them are very far away, uh, I assume anyway, because here we've got like the South Pole and stuff like that. But the one that interests me is the Juno Village, which I believe is just over there. Um, if we click the others, so th this has got nothing to do with whether we've got it targeting or not. Is, is that actually targeted Judo Village? Is, is that just because I've looked at the structures, it's gone ahead and done it? Because look at that, it's got a, it's got a little little thing over there. Ooh, if you target... Wait a minute, what what's going on here? It's because I, I, I did that, but... I, I'm rather interested in what it's going to try and do here. This, this, this is this is interesting. So it's going to stall and pick up enough speed. No, we're 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 meeting the floor. <laughs> we're robust though, robust. Anyway, the the point was, I wanted one of these out of here. So that how how do I how do I find the closest distance one and then fly my plane back back there and drop a parachute. Okay, the moment I got into the program, I realised whilst it's very important to be able to know where we're going, the first thing I need to be able to do is turn off the autopilot, right? So this is the one that takes us off, it holds a heading and a, a, a pitch. The way I'm going to try and find out is we're going to cast a ray from our position, I think towards the, the centre of the planet. I think that's what zero, zero, zero does. If not, I've got this other thing, we'll, we'll get a position which points from the centre of the planet to where we are, take the normalisation of that, so it's just one, and then flip it round with the minus one, so it points at the centre of the planet, right? I think I think this should point at the centre of the planet, but before we do that, let, let, let's let try this and see. I, I've also got, ah, target no Juno, let's take that out and see, because I, I forgot, I was playing around with this a little bit last night, in fact, just to, would you believe it took me more than just 10 minutes to figure all this stuff out uh i i put that in there i i don't know whether we can extract that from the list that that was that was my thought for today also of course parachutes but we're not going to be using them Let, let's see what happens see if we get the target or not okay away we go we've got the full list we've got the heading but of course the target won't happen until oh yeah no okay so the, the, it doesn't appear so now what i want to do is search for the closest one of these you're not turning what, what why why are we not looking in the right direction what's 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 going on here okay is that is that a thing so my pro thought process was whilst we have a ray this would be true N now i'm not sure that that's really the thing if the ray exists does, is it true yeah i don't know we'll, we'll have a look let's have a look on the flight log and see what we got so we got a zero zero the floor doesn't even exist what am I supposed to do about the floor not existing? Okay, well, let, let's try the other way of casting the ray, shall we? Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I explained this last time, but I, I can quite happily explain it again. If we have a look, we cast a ray. It projects a ray from the first position to the second position. Uh, and if it touches something, it gives you that. Uh, gives you that that position as a coordinate uh, a zero if it didn't touch anything for a hundred kilometers I mean you would have thought that would work. Let, let's let's try this one then see if see if this works 
Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a distance away, but it works. Does it count as true? Yes, it does count as true. No, no, it doesn't count as true. It's hmm. okay. May maybe if we go why this is bigger than zero, or whilst it is not the zero vector, uh, because if we can take off with this crap, you know, let's let's re re go. Okay, okay, I've got, I've got it all. So we, we're casting the ray towards the floor still. That, that's this one here. Cast it from us towards the floor. I'm then going to take away my position from it. So we end up with an, with an arrow that goes from me to the floor in, in local position. Uh, in local position, because this would be in PCI. That's why the number was so outrageously big when we were playing about it, playing about with it. Uh, and if the length of that, oh man, this is, this is going to be awkward. If the length of that is less than 50 meters, the hold steady fight flight. Is that is that is that the thing? Is that what we want? Have I just gone a really long way of just finding out my altitude? Is that is that really what's happened here? I think it might be. <laughs> Let's let, I've, I've set them both up on telemetry so that we could see altitude. Two different altitudes. OK, OK, that's interesting. I thought this was going to give me a length number. I might have to see what's going on with that, but we got we got the altitude number there, so that should be fine. In fact, it's reading. How is it reading above ground level? Because the ground, this 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 are here, right? Okay, that that's a thing, that's a thing. Uh, but we are holding level flight. That's that's cool, and we've just about to hit fifty. So now it should just fall over. Yeah, we we can see it starting to fall over. Okay, this is good. This is actually okay. Okay, I hadn't copied it across with the length. That's why it wasn't giving me the right number. Okay, so the, well, that, that's good anyway. So with that, now we need to try and select our target. Okay, so I've got the uh, the structure from up here where we listed out all of the structures. I shouldn't have used the word structure. I've got this programming format here that lists out all the structures. Now, the thing I want to do is get the distance to the structures. There is no distance. There's no distance of, of associated with any of these. These are just strings, just names that tell us where stuff are. So I think what I'm going to do is target the node of planet. Uh, this, this, this. I want, I want this. We're going to target the node of whatever item is we are currently looking at in the list. I then want to add that to a new list. So we're going to create a list. We're going to call this target distances. Okay, so I've got this here. Uh, I then want to stole this straight from the last uh, last episode's driving through town. This uh, little expression here tells us how far away we are from the target. And of course, we then want to add this item. Let's put no, oh, no, no, no. Let's put that in there to target distances. Okay, so we then go through. We we found out all the target distances. And of course, once we've got all the distances, the shortest one will be our closest airport. At least that is the plan. Uh, we're going to get rolling up here with the craft. And of course, you can see that I'm not going at full throw. That's because I kept on kicking over the edge of that lip and destroying my, my wing, my propeller, a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, looking at the program, we've got a countdown. We say active. We have a little bit of a, a block of programming here just to get us over the lip. And once we're going faster than 10 meters per second, we full throttle it and start looking uh, down the the main runway whilst we're fairly close to the floor whilst the real altitude is less than 100 meters we will keep looking in a 50 degree heading uh, I've got a little bit of logic there that holds the roll in place um, tries to hold it at a steady angle needs a lot of work there uh, this is just kind of like if I'm too far turn the other way I, we, we can do some better control set um, control systems there my favorite part of the flight just happened where we select all the different targets across the globe try and find the shortest one and once we've got the shortest one we use the dot product if the dot product is smaller than 0.5 i we're not looking towards it in any way shape or form i turn a bank over we start pitching up uh, and when if we go above a certain pitch level we, we we put our nose back down and put some yaw in place uh, and this keeps us keep keeps us turning until we did a weird pitch up here i don't know where the pitch up is coming from it's something to do with the final while loop here, um, where I'm trying to head pretty much directly towards the target. Uh, but if I if I head directly towards the target, I smash straight into the cliffs. Not even at the target base, just the the target I was uh, the, the direction I was looking. But if I add this weird little bit on the end, it sends me kilometers above it. I, I'm not really understanding what's going on. But we've opened the parachutes and um, great graceful landing. 
I'm going to take that as a graceful land. We managed to uh, to land close enough for me to be happy. Of course, this was just the first foray into playing control systems. It's since doing this, I've learned a lot about PID controllers and how to get a much smoother turn. You could have seen whilst I was turning, I was shaking around all over the place. But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we've got a CubeSat to put into a very specific orbit. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.